Hi guys, Captain Speech from Rubon Charters. Today I'm going to show you how to rig heavy mono for trolling ballyhoo for mahi, tuna, and billfish. Okay, this is how I like to rig my lures, guys. This is what we're going to be rigging. This is an Islander sail lure. This is a knockoff Islander bullet, mini bullet. I rig these with and without chin weights. So let's start knocking this out. I need your leader material. My choice of leader material is typically 200 pound test mono across the board for anything from wind ons to rigs for deep dropping, rigs for ballyhoo trolling. It's pretty much what I use. To start off, you need your crimp, same size as the leader. Pass your leader through your crimp, create a loop, make sure this is flush. You find the correct size crimp hole in your crimping tool. You always leave a section at the tip flared so you do not pinch the mono and cut it. You squeeze down and you always start from the side where your loop is closed. And then you crimp farther down towards the other end where the line is coming out and it's continuing. Crimp twice. Get a flare. No pinching of the line, no damaging of the line. You grab your lure. So this section is going to the rod. The other end is where the hook is going to be. Put your lure on the line. Put your crimp on again. And then your hook. These are older hooks. Not brand new, but you can use new hooks, you can use old hooks. Ignore the rusty tip. Same deal. Feed the mono through both sides of the crimp. Create your loop. Pull down on this. Find the correct size crimp hole. Leave part of the end exposed to flare. Crimp it down. Repeat again the same process. Crimp it down. is complete. To store your rigs, you never coil tightly like so. Because you mess up the line memory of the mono. The proper way to store mono is you grab coils as large as you possibly can. It will still fit in your tackle storage and not get in the way. You wrap it around nice and neat. Grab a rubber band. or twice. This is how you store this so that the line does not unravel, get tangled up, kinked, or ruined. That one is without the chin weight. Now let's make one with a chin weight. Same process. Mono through crimp, back and forth, create your loop. Crimp size, flare crimp, flare crimp, again this goes to the raw tip, the other end you feed it through the front of the lure, come out the back. Now this is where you have to pay good attention so you don't improperly crimp this. crimp for your chin weight you're going to take your weight feed it on and you put 
Put your hook with your point facing towards the lip. This way when you create your loop, your hook point is facing downwards where this is in the chin of your ballet hoop. Obviously, if you had it the other way around, it would be backwards, it would not work. This is how it has to be. Close this down, nice and tight. Again, you crimp from the end of the loop. Crimp, leave a flare. Once more, crimp, leave a flare. And this is your rig for chin weight belly hoop on a J hook on mono for Mahi tuna. So guys, I hope you enjoyed today's tackle tip with Captain Screech. Please don't forget to like, follow, subscribe on Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, TikTok, as well as YouTube. We have more videos coming out and don't forget to ring that bell. See you guys next time.